What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. Okay, folks, today I want to talk about a subject that uh, can be new to a lot of people, not, not for me, of course, but uh, I keep you guys in the loop. So today we're going to talk about something that, um, that I feel that a lot of young men should be doing right now. Today we're going to talk about it. It's part of a movement also. It's called in four, three, two, one. Boom. It's called the MGTOW. It's called, basically it's men go their own way. And what this group does or what this, um, or what this acronym means is, it means uh, it cautions men like against romantic relationships with women. No, especially, you know, being against marriage, unless you find a perfect one for yourself, it's um, it's the, right now the situation is too too gynocentric. You know, it means it's a, it's a condition that right now the the conditions favor women, and to the detriment of men. You know, no people that believe in MGTOW believe that there is a systematic gynocentric bias against men. And the double standards in gender roles, you know, there's bias against men in family courts. There's bias against men, you know, when they're they're falsely accused of rape. And there's lack of accuse, lack of um, uh, consequences for accusers for doing such as that. They, I mean, we're, it's just, it's just, uh, it's a men's rights movement. It's about men taking their role back and being men again. Because unfortunately, a lot of you, a lot of you so-called men are not doing this. A lot of you men. Or, in, or what we call the SIP category. Any any time that one of us, any any per any male challenges a woman, a lot of you gotta come and put your capes on. You gotta throw you gotta throw your cape on, or you gotta throw a cover a puddle that's not even there, so she can walk across. A lot of you are doing it so you can have sex from behind close in the closed doors. A lot of you are um, are trying to find it like like the, the Facebook the Facebook simps. You guys are good for this. What you do is you, you try to get a chick on your side. Say if a, a gentleman and a lady are getting into it, these simps will try to side with the lady, but in the meanwhile, they try to get in their pants. And now, and, and, and the MGTO W movement, we want you want we, we want you know, you know, there's not you have short term relationships, you know, cel celibacy is an option, you know, but you should choose, you know, a man to choose. Celibacy over a relationship is called that's called going monk, you know. You know, some maintain their virginity. You know, there are there, there are just just different levels to you know this MGTO thing, T O W thing. You know, there's someone who shuns all relationships with women. There's short term, there's long term, there's romantic. Otherwise, you know, there's some people who shun society as a whole. But what I'm talking about here is, I'm talking about for my young men. Out here with these women, I want, I want, I want to tell, explain to you something. You know, excuse me for I have, I have a little bit of cold, so excuse me. But the problem is, a lot of these women, not a lot, a lot but a good bit. A lot of these women, they're, they're, they want to say that there's no good in men after they ran through a lot of men, and by the time they hit their thirties and forties, they're washed up. So they become bitter and they accept anything. And then if you don't do what they want you to do, you're no good to them too. So don't hate me. Don't hate. I'm just the messenger. Don't hate me. But the fact of the matter remains, I would advise all young men with no kids to go M G T O W. Men going their own way. Now, if you find a young lady that you you find attractive, you like, and y'all get along, that's good. But let me advise you. So if she, if she got kids. Watch how she treats her her baby daddy, as they like to say. If she completely dog. If she keeps dogging him out in front of you, just remember that could be you. Would you want to have a kid to her? The answer should be no. If she got him in a court situation, if she has the government up in their business, do you want the government up in your business? No. You want to stay away. You want to stay away from women. That have multiple kids to multiple dudes. Now, if she has one kid because she was married 
in a long-term relationship and she's another married long-term relationship with two kids, that's one thing. But that's, that's still too, too many for me. If she has one kid, she's been married for a while, I can, that's understandable. That's your call. But if she has multiple kids to multiple dudes, the general advice is to, to stay away from her. You don't want that headache. You don't want to think, you, you think you're driving a sports car. All you're doing is just putting new, a new paint job on a Yugo. And you're putting some, you know, expensive rims. You're doing, you're doing what, they, what, they, what we all laugh about. You know, you're putting, you're putting expensive rims on a car that's worth like you know, $2,500. Don't do it. Now, as far as the women, I advise them to say the same thing. I advise them to stay away from men, you know, who aren't providing much. But I'm, I'm, I'm giving, my advice is more geared, to, but I know women who do that. Listen to them. My advice is more geared to young men and how we're trying to come up with, you know, solutions how to help them out. Because now, like me personally, I, I, I'm, I'm for, I'm for MGTOW. Because my view on women are, my views on women are, they've changed over the years. And I'm not saying all women are bad. They can't be. If they mess with me. They can't be. I'm saying is there are, there are some women you don't need in your life. And sex isn't everything. And if you're going to do it, just get topped off. I mean, because there's a lot of these chicks out there that are bitter. You'll see it on Facebook. They're, they're talking about all oh, my dad, my, my baby's father's, uh, and I, excuse my language on this one. They'll say he's a fuck boy. And my question to that, when they keep saying that, I'm like, well, wait a minute. When was he a fuckboy? Was he a fuckboy after you had your kid? Or when he was banging your brains out? Lepers don't change their spots. I said, if he's a fuckboy, you like to have fuckboys come in you. So your, your pussy's just as dirty as he is. They don't like that because it's called common sense. And they, can, they, they, they try to get out of that. But me personally... I'm MG MGTOW is perfect for the young man. Like for me, I'm I'm in my late forties. If I have another kid, God forbid, you know that that'll be on me. Right now, I'm looking for. A, I, I'm not in a race it right now. Right now, I can afford to sit back and let the world come to me. Cause I, I work. I do my nine to five. I don't have a relationship. I can be in multiple relationships with multiple women if I choose to. That's my business. But what I'm doing is with the MGTO with the MGTOW thing is I'm I'm trying to find a, I'm I'm finding a, I'm, I'm using my life to find a balance for me because like I said my you know, my kids come first or whoever you believe in comes first your kids your family and then my life and right now I do not need some. I do not need some second-hand chick to go for I don't need a second-class chick to ride first class. I'm not doing it. I don't have time to train nobody anymore. It's either you get it or you don't. And I have no problem being single the rest of my life and just sticking and moving. No problem whatsoever. Right about now, I kind of enjoy it. But as far as, you know, the beliefs, there's just a double standard. And women know this, and they use it against you. Look at how look how little, little pin a kid on you real quick, and then when they find out the kid, look look at look at Morris Chestnut. They just had he was just on uh, uh, the Breakfast Club, and he thought he had a child that was his, and he was doing the stand up dude thing, which it was kind of natural and just take care of the kid. Well, when he when he got that Boys in the Hood movie, the old girl was like taking the kid, and they went to child support. Come to find out, it wasn't his. She overplayed her hand. Stupid. And then he kind of, you know, he was like, "Look, he was getting ran through the he was, and he still does. I guess he still was getting ran through the mud in the media as early as much as like 2012." He said, "And I'm like, why would he be getting ran through the mud when that chick should have told that young man, hey, this is your real father?' But she was, she was using, she was using her kid as a paycheck." And that's why nowadays you can't trust half of these chicks. You can't. So, as far as, uh, I just wanted to introduce this topic to a lot of you because a lot of you may not understand. 
And I fully agree and support the, the men going their own way movement because at the end of the day, women need us more than we need them. We can go elsewhere. And, and, and like, a lot of women are getting scared now because they're seeing how, you're seeing how a lot of real men aren't putting up with their shit and they're going elsewhere. <laughs> so, I'll, I'll be back with another video. So, hey, man, have a good one. All right, peace.